So before we get into this video, guys, I just want to say that the clips from this video are all taken from my 24-hour live stream that we did over on Twitch. So if you guys haven't already checked out my Twitch, then go and check it out. The link will be down in the description, but this episode is just kind of made up out of, uh, out of parts of that. So yeah, do enjoy and let's get into the episode. Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new episode here of Cosmic Sky on the channel. Episode number 36, I think, maybe? 36, 37, something like that. Around that kind of number. Hopefully you guys are doing good today. I'm doing pretty fantastic, guys. Today, we are going to be having a spicy episode. We've actually got loot boxes to open because the brand new loot box did indeed come out. We've had a little bit of an update day. And guys, today's light goal is... Oh, we got the ding, which means it is going to be a giveaway, guys. Let's hit it again and see what it's going to be. So it's Black Wall, which is 200 likes. Now, that means if we hit the 200 likes within 24 hours, We've got a giveaway for you guys right now So make sure you smash that like button If we hit it within 24 hours, 200 likes Then there will be a giveaway for you That's what that little ding button means If we get that, that would be absolutely amazing guys Thank you so much for smashing that like button Of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button as well Now, like I say, we've got a bunch of things to open and get on with today guys And it's going to be a fun episode for sure But we're going to do our weekly IS, uh, IS Warp weekly update And actually go and see what has gone on since the last update right here So let's jump forward and see what we've got So we've got Fishing Rod attributes. This is when a fishing rod hits level 20, 50, 75, or 99, it'll receive a random attribute. These attributes will apply to that rod permanently and cannot be removed. The percent chance can, however, be upgraded on the next attribute level. Um, so you get XP per catch, better treasure rarity, treasure find, no durability loss, catch success, and double catch. We actually have in our PV1 right now a fishing rod, so I wonder if it, I wonder if it'll automatically apply to this bad boy. Um, we'll have to see what, what, what's going to happen with that one. Uh, fish sell price, salmon $250, so I'm guessing they updated all the sell price to make it actually worth it. Fisherman Fred Pets, there's a brand new pet this week. Place pet in your inventory hotbar and gain a chance of receiving double fishing drops. That's pretty cool. Unkillable tier elite max level three. Attacks that bring your HP to level plus four hearts or lower have a chance to heal you for level plus five hearts instead. Metaphysical rare level uh, max level four. Boot enchantment, ch uh, chance to resist the slowness given by the enemy, trap and paralyze. That's pretty cool. Some kind of like uh, enchants to counter the OP ones. Uh, dominates, a chance to weaken enemies on hit, causing them to deal less 5% damage to players uh, for uh, two times a second. That's pretty cool. Uh, rot and decay, tier boss, max level 10. And this is going to decay the world around you, increasingly damage the health and durability of enemies standing on the blocks around you. Also spawns rotten corpses that deal massive uh, durability damage to enemies on player contact. And chain lifesteal. Chance to regen, uh, uh, regain health from multiple enemies me, uh, near your damaged target based on level. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So the summary of the update is not on these signs, which is useful. Um, I'm guessing this is a loot box. No. Um, this is the Demonic Realm boss, Shadow of Yujiki. Um, okay, what's this? This is a boss. The boss can be found in the adventure, Demonic Realm. Oh, okay, so it's just a boss for Demonic Realm. We're not quite there yet, so we won't worry about that. Yeah, this is the brand new loot box. Now, we're not going to look at that sign because we don't need to because we're actually just going to go to our IS right now. We're going to do P time day and we're going to open a couple of them right now. Now, we've actually got rank kits as well, rank kit level 10 and 11. Um, so let's wish up, wish, wish us some luck for these rank kits. Three, two, one, boom. So in the first rank here today, we've got a zombie spawner, melon seeds, iron ore node, iron repair scroll, and $1.5 million. Not a not a bad rank kit at all, actually. And let's go in with the level 11, 3, 2, and 1. Boom. That one looks pretty spicy right there. We've got a silk touch pick, which is kind of actually a rip. A diamond repair scroll, diamond boots, execute uh, 2, adrenaline rush 1. And yeah, that was that was pretty trash actually. That was that was really trash. At least we got uh, at least we got a, a decent amount of money from that one. We got we got, we got all right money, so that's not the worst thing to get in the world. Four point three mil, we'll take it. Now these loot boxes, guys, are indeed pretty OP. We've got two of them to open today because we're actually giving away one on stream as well. But these are the loot boxes we've got. So let's actually have a look. Slash loot box. We're gonna right click and actually have a look at the items that we can get from this. So we can get some auto crafting bots. We can get demonic realm map fragments. Lucky block explorers. Face mask, which is a nice diamond implants two helmets. Uh, item recipe mash soup, uh, mash soup, mash, mash soup. We can get pig zombie spawners, carrot recipe, diamond ore nodes, teleport pads, auto planters, mystery diamond gems, um, XP bottle. We can also get the glistening melon or glis glistering, glistering. I don't even know. Glistering Melon. Uh, we get Player Rank 2, a Slice Sword, which is a nice a diamond sword right there with two empty sockets, Sharpness 2, five collection chests, the Rabbit Farmer Stew, a 1.47 times treasure find fishing rod, not bad. Uh, the Fisherman Fred Pet, which is the brand new pet. Item re uh, recipe page for corrupt chorus fruit. Pumpkin recipe, Player 5 Rank, uh, Blaze Spawners, Undead Mushrooms recipe. 
Lucky Block Warrior, Totem of Undying, Special Edition Loot Box, which actually looks pretty OP. Um, we can get Demonic Realm Adventure Map, Gem Hunter Pet, which is a brand new pet, I believe, as well, maybe? I don't know, I haven't seen that one. The first brick and the item lore crystal, guys. So we've got a bunch of things that we can get today. We're going to be opening two of these in the stream, guys. Wish us luck right now. Hopefully, we do get some OP things today. Obviously, what I'd like out of this is Undead Mushroom Recipe. That's like my number one thing to get out of this. If we did get a Corrupt Chorus Fruit Recipe, however, uh, if you guys have a look at how much these go for, you guys, you guys are going to be pretty amazed. Corrupt Chorus Fruit Recipes are going to go for a hefty amount. Let's see if there are actually any on the H right now. I'm going to assume there probably aren't simply how, for how freaking rare they are. Yeah, there's none on the H right now. So we'd, we'd have to see what the price of that will be. But here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Our first loot box for today. Bless up statue. Give us something good. Let's see what we're going to get out of this loot box right here. Come on. Hook a man up right now. Hook a man up. We are going to get ourselves... Boom. The new helmet, and we're going to get two or uh, four lots of mystery diamond gems. That is a little bit of a rip right there. I mean, the face mask is kind of cool because that's our first diamond helmet. That's that's not too bad. And we got four mystery diamond gems. We'll have to uncover those and see what we get. All right, loot box number two. Let's go. Three, two, one. Boom. Let's see what we get from this one. That one wasn't particularly amazing, so maybe this one has got all the bless-ups. From everyone hitting the like button on the YouTube video, we are going to get ourselves... Boom. The Glistering Melon, Mash Soup, and the Auto Crafter. Okay, we actually just got some pretty okay recipes. Um, the Glistening Melon is not something we're really going to need. It's not too bad, though. Uh, we'll take it. The Auto Crafting Bots are pretty useful as well. well. We'll probably need those here in the future. Not too bad, though. Not too freaking bad, if I do say so myself. There's like, there's definitely a lot of worse things that we could have got from that. Um, we're going to just double-check the price of these on the AH, though, because honestly, I think I'll probably sell them. Obviously, we, still, we already have the Mash Soup recipe, so that's not something I need. Um, the Mash Soup is about 3.4 mil. And then the Glistening Melon, uh, so we've got 3.4 mil in that one. Glistening Melon is about 2.9 mil. Eh, it was alright. It was alright, I guess. It was it was okay. So, we're going to sell these straight up, though. We're just undercut whatever's on the H. So, we'll do 3.3 mil for this one. And then, do 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 2.8 mil. So, 3.3 and 2.8. AH, sell, 3, 3, and we'll add all the zeros to that one. And then we'll sell this one for 2.8. 2.8 mil. There we go. Perfect. GG's, not not bad. It, it wasn't it wasn't the best thing in the world. Let's be completely honest. It was not the best ones in the world, but it's okay. I think I think the bless up statue's luck has been has been. I think I think I know what it is actually. I think it's because we don't have the purple block here anymore. I think we need to re-add the purple block so that we make sure we do that on the uh, next time we do it on the purple block because I think that's what the problem is. You know, I'm pretty sure that's what the uh, there we go, there we go. That's that's better. That's where it's meant to be, dudes. That's where it's meant to be. That's what the problem was. Um, but yeah, there we go. And I think Spade Whopper has just said that he is uh, wanting us to open one for him because he has a loot box. So Spade Whopper, come over to my island slash trade me and we'll open it for you. Obviously, the items will go to you as well. Alright, so yeah, we're actually going to be opening Spade Whopper's loot box for him as well. But now that now that we've fix this block this is going to be the one dude this is going to be the one this is going to be the most op one you watch player rank five about about to come in you ready three two one boom player rank five is happening in this uh, in this in this crate right here you ready loot box player rank five or even anything cool would be nice let's see what he gets though uh boom uh we get demonic okay that was <laughs> i'm sorry dude i'm i'm genuinely sorry <laughs> i am genuinely sorry i mean the the map fragments go for a little bit i believe I think they go for a little bit. Uh, what else did you get? You got four auto crafting bots. I mean, I'm sorry, dude. All right, so we are looking at purchasing a brand new recipe for the island right now because the next progression for us really is to stop selling the nether wall as we're doing. And if we look in ice farming right now, this beautiful recipe on here called the undead mushroom, which is one rotten flesh and three nether wall. This is kind of where we want to be at right now. So what I'm thinking of doing is making my zombie grinder or putting it back on my island, making it public as long as we're done over with Katie's. If not, then we'll just add a collection just to Katie's and um, that's where all of our zombie spawns have actually gone right now um, but we're gonna head over there and kind of do that for actually no we, we already still have the ones up the top of our island so we could technically do it on our island still but we're trying to get this undead mushroom recipe right here so on the AH right now we've got 47 mil but on the AH they are selling for 30 mil so we're gonna pick one up and we're gonna claim it right here because uh, it's definitely the next progression for us they sell for a lot uh, you know the the items sell for a lot so it's definitely worth it Boom, that's 30 million spent right here for the undead mushrooms. We should be able to claim it. And boom, we are now good to go. So if we literally grab a few nether wart right here, I'm just going to show you guys what it does essentially. It's, it's very, very OP. Very, very OP right here. So let's just grab a few nether warts um, just from here. I'd say we'll just grab a little like stack or so. So that will probably be enough right there. Uh, so make sure we replant. It's the most important job. Make sure you replant all, all the time. Um, and then we're going to go and grab ourselves some rotten flesh, which we should have from our chest upstairs. I haven't been AFK in the zombies. I really need to make sure I'm AFK in them overnight, even just to, if it's to get the, the tick 
uh, the you know the tick kills for it um, slash home it's got to our zombies right now is there any in here okay there is some in here so we can test this so um, it's three wait is it three nether wart I think it's three nether wart per thing so um, let's just chuck it in our in our thing right here and it should craft it so there we go we've got 21 of them now obviously yeah it's three nether wart per so the nether wart's the thing which you got to focus on the most which actually is better for our rotten flesh because rotten flesh costs a lot so slash sell hand boom easy 78k 78k easy money dude so that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be grinding these out a lot now um so that actually gives us an extra use for our nether wart farm what i'll probably do is add it to the auto crafter as well just so that you know we've got another we've got another thing grinding in the auto crafter so very very op we're gonna farm this all up now and make sure we're turning them all into those undead mushrooms because yeah that, that's what needs to be done i think this side is all ready to farm up i think someone's added all the dispensers to it so we should be good to farm this one up right now. So let's do a quick farm on this side and let's watch it all flow down. And hopefully we don't lose any of these beautiful uh, nether warts right here because this is going to be a this is going to be a nice nice amount of nether wart and a nice amount of money right here. So let's go ahead and flick this lever again. Not not quite yet though. We're gonna have to go down the middle and make sure we hit all these singular ones. It just happens, dudes. Just happens. We need to move all of our dispensers one closer because they need a two block gap rather than a free uh, free block gap. Otherwise, this is what happens. And then at the end, you get a few that miss as well. So we need to actually fix this at some point, but. Maybe we'll do that in this 24 hour stream because that's what we're doing right now YouTube. We're uh, actually streaming on Twitch as usual, but this is a special 24 hour live stream. So yeah, we've got we've got a lot to do. Uh, let's flick this lever real quick and take the water out. Boom. And that should be good right there. Perfect. So now we just got to go down and uh, make sure we farm up all of these different nether warts and uh, then make sure we leave enough for it to replant. And we'll see how much we actually managed to get after this. So YouTube, I will see you guys in just a second once we've uh, figured out how much we've actually got that we can sell right now. All right. So we have indeed got this amount of nether wart free right now. So this is what we're going to be using to craft. If we actually go to slash home right here, uh, we should have a bunch of this in the chest. Now, obviously, I don't think I'm going to be able to craft much of it just due to the fact that we don't have a lot of rotten flesh. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll be able to chuck in at least a good amount. So it's three of these per. So one, two, three. And then we can chuck another one of those in. One, two, and three. And we can craft those right there. That'll give us a couple of stacks. Come on. Come on, work for me. There we go. A couple of stacks right there. We got one, two. And then we can go one, two, three. One, two, three. So this is what we'll get. Another couple of stacks right here. We got undead mushroom today. We got undead mushroom today. We're good. We're good. All right, there we go. And let's go use what we got slash craft. Uh, put these. This is basically two stacks, so it'll work just the same. One, two, three. One, two, three. So honestly, just getting the rotten flesh is the only thing that we're going to need to worry about now, uh, because obviously we don't have we don't have a lot of it. But we're going to leave this in this chest right here. Boom, and we're going to sell these and see how much this gets us. So slash sell hand. Boom. 1.4 million dollars just from that little amount and we still have all of this left so we're obviously gonna have to keep grinding these zombies up making sure that we're getting that but that is a that's a lot of money for really not a lot of farming to be honest so those are gonna be extremely op now we just gotta try and get our axe back i guess that's that's kind of the next task because i don't have anything to one shot zombies maybe if i make this place up here public then you guys can uh, can grind these out as well but also if we just afk them then we'll get a decent amount because you know we have we have the afk system set up so that's pretty cool so we've got another loot box to open right here this one is for it's omega um we're gonna you know just open it for you guys to, to see but obviously the loot goes to him so it doesn't really matter what we're getting it as such but what well, it does because i want to get him good stuff but here we go right now this is the fourth loot box we've opened today third something like that but hopefully you guys do enjoy this one here we go three two one boom wish us luck right now hopefully we get you something good right here in the loot box we have gotten people some insane things before so we'll see what happens three two one boom come on show us the luck a carrot farming recipe and two lots of xp i mean it's better than some of the ones we've had today it's better than the ones we've had today i'll, I'll give him that you know it's not too bad in in the great scheme of things could have been a lot worse <laughs> based on what we've had today it could have been a lot worse so hopefully you guys did enjoy that episode right there. Like I say, make sure you go and head over to my Twitch, twitch.tv slash journals and smash a like on this video so that we do a giveaway on next episode. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in today and I shall see you in the next episode here of Cosmic Sky.